Is Cthulian the name of Cthulhu's girlfriend? To answer this, I was summoned by Colleen Scrod, someone I have reason to believe would be first in line for a gender-swapped version of the film Raging Bull, which would unfortunately have to be titled Mad Cow. The word is Cthulian. It is spelled C-H-T-H-O-N-I-A-N. Ain't no particular sign I'm more compatible with. I just want your extra time and your... Kiff. Behold, a list of English words that begin with C-H-T-H. Cathonian. Cathonic. Catharsis? Cathedral. Cathwomp. So, there you go. It's a rare combo, C-H-T-H. Pretty much just us Cathonic types hanging out down in our Cathonian layers. Worth noting, if you feel like it, you can spell it just like Cthulhu does. C-T-H instead of C-H-T-H. And lots of folks say it that way, too, because they're British, yes, but also because if you go the other way, you're saying Thonian, which I'm pretty sure is one of those aliens that only appeared in one episode of Star Trek. And worse, you're saying Thonic, as in Thonic the Hedgehog, which is preposterous. Cthonic is a groundhog, an eternally damned groundhog. See, Cthonian comes from mythology academics and the ancient Greek word Cthon for ground, dirt, earth, or soil. But what it means is from the underworld of the afterlife, about the dead. Ancient Greeks took their Cthonian gods very seriously. When you poured one out for one of them, offered a libation, couldn't be a sip or a swallow, but the whole damn bottle. You wouldn't dare to share, not one bit. And you couldn't even look back to see if they took it, because they were spooky scary. Perhaps primary amongst these Cthonic gods was Persephone Cthonia, kidnapped bride of Hades, queen of the underworld, but also goddess of the spring, embodiment of both the growing fruits above and the rotting graves below. From as far beneath the earth as the sky is above it, she pushes up the daisies, because that's the way it is, you know. The same loving face of springtime who thrust you up into the light will be there again to pull you down into darkness come night. And that's Cthonian as hell. Perhaps the most Cthonian place of all. Give me your words. I will spell them all.